It's that time of the day again. Whatever that says. Oh, uh, three o'clock, perfect timing. If you count in daylight saving, which I know you guys in the Northern Hemisphere have got now. And today's video is brought to you one of my best subscribers, Chris Lambertus. Now, Chris Lambertus gave me a beer fund donation. And with that beer fund donation, I whipped over to my mate Dan's house and well, look what I scored for 30 bucks for a carton. <gasps> Some bluey. Now, I'm pretty sure this is cheap and nasty, but I'm gonna find out today. I can't remember if I've had one before, but have a look. 30 bucks for the carton. <laughs> I don't care if it's going off. I'll still drink it. And not only did I buy one card, but let me just say I stocked up on it because they did have ugh, quite a few there. And well, I should just get on to, I should tell all my neighbors, quick, go and get some. If they got some there tomorrow, well, let's see what this beer tastes like first because, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fill up my storage room with 30 bucks a carton of trash beer. Although, this is me we're talking about. And is that something I would generally do? <laughs> Hell! Guilty as charged! Now, I did used to drink that ton, uh, mid-strength. And well, that was horrible. I still drunk it though, because it was the cheapest. But still only like 33 bucks for 30 cans. Uh, now, but those cans are three 30 mil cans. And on here, it says that they're 375 mils. So 375 mil cans. Now, the thing with this though is that it is a mid-strength and it's, I don't even know where it says, it says something somewhere. Uh, it's three and a half percent. So I do like my mid-strengths anyway. But Chris, thank you very much. I spent those beer funds on that and more. And these ones were actually cold. Can't believe, and they're out on the floor. They must have just brought them out. And they must have been sitting in the cold room for way too long and no one's buying them. Uh, Cause they're rubbish and I just stocked up on them. So, well, you know me, if it's yellow, I'll drink it. <laughs> now, I am a bit thirsty today. I went for a nice long walk to Talbudger Creek. I made a video, uh, which I'll upload on one of those days where I, just don't feel like doing anything, you know? But I had a good long walk. I'm already up to 12,000 steps. Oh, wow, 12,000, woo hoo! Man, I'm feeling good, feeling fit, except for my shoulder. I just tweaked it, opening the door. Oh, I just got a bill for my uh, registration for my car too. But uh, now, this bluey. I didn't, didn't even bring my phone with me. Uh, one sec. All right, Bluey Ultra Crisp Lager Pinnacle Drinks Group, Woolworths. So I'm pretty sure it's one of those generic beers that Woolworths must be producing via some Darrow uh, beer manufacturer. But it is brewed in Australia. What more can you ask for? And well, let's just see. If there's any like spiel on this. Right, okay. Wonder if that'll work. Oh, that works. Bluey, a dog who defied the odds and became an Aussie legend. Hey, maybe I, they could call me Bluey. Yeah, the oldest living dog who spent nearly 30 years working with cattle and sheep before passing away in 1939. Bluey represents true Aussie spirit of hard work and loyalty of getting the job done, and then at the end of it all, relaxing with your best mate and a beer. More truer words have never been said. All right, and well, I think that's all it says on there. But uh, well, how about we find out what this is like? Tina Bluey, all right. So how's a beer sound? A bit like that. All right, so I'll grab my beer glass, even though I know that it's the wrong size and everyone will be going, Craig, yeah, 
Why don't you use a bigger glass? Uh, well, because this is the size glass I have in a beer glass shape. How about I use this glass instead and then it'll only fill it up to like there and then you'll all start going, Grego, why don't you use a smaller glass? One thing that you learn when you make YouTube videos is people are Pretty awesome. Um, what was I doing? Oh, that's right. Well, it smells like I walked past a probably a bar at Logan or something. <laughs> you know, one of those Darrow suburbs. Not that I'm saying that it is. There are some parts of Logan that are really nice. Apparently. Um, anyway. Let's check this out. Looks alright actually, it's pretty clear. You can see me looking through there. G'day mum, how's it going? Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I mean, it looks like beer, doesn't it? It's got like bubbles and it's a pretty nice looking colour. It's a Ultra crisp lager too, the old bluey. Hmm. Yep. Ultra crisp. Now I don't even know what ultra crisp means. But mate, I've got quite a few of these, so please, to the beer gods, please, for old Grego's sake, taste half decent. Although I did used to drink that ton mid strength for Ooh, quite a few years, and mate, that is rubbish. Ooh, I can hear my uh, washing is finished in the machine. I got one of those washing machines, it gets stuck on nine minutes, and it just keeps turning. And then I, I have to like come and then reset it, and oh god, put it to uh, minimal wash, which is 15 minutes, and then it only goes up to 600 RPMs. So then you pull it out, and it's all wet. Yeah. God, life is tough. First world problems, you know. Speaking of first world problems, let's go a beer. Well, it tastes okay. It sort of tastes. I don't know, man. It tastes like it's it's missing something. It tastes like it's made with hard water. It's got that real home brew taste. And I'm not talking about that home brew that is really awesome either. It's got that sort of cloudiness that that fogs over your, your taste buds. And it just tastes like, you know, they didn't filter it properly or something. It doesn't smell very good. <laughs> oh, no! Maybe I can uh, flick some to my neighbours. I'll tell them it was a uh, 35 bucks a carton. Yeah, I might try and do that. I mean, it's drinkable. There's there's definitely a flavour there that I'm trying to get. Socks, maybe. Gym socks. Um, dirty underwear. Um, I don't know, man, but... Well... <laughs> It's, it sort of tastes like, well, I just don't even know. I, I don't even know what it tastes like. It's, it's sort of, it's, it's almost like, <laughs> it's got like some tranquilizer that goes over your taste buds and numbs them so you can keep drinking it. Oh God. Well, it has got this like funny flavor. I don't know if it's like watermelon or something. But it's real, sort of that bubbly with the hop there, and it's hardly malty. Oh, mate. This is not good news. Not good news for me, anyway. The, uh, I can't, it's got a 2.42 uh, rating, which I, I'm, <laughs> I cannot believe that. I can't believe that. Come on, folks. Is there something, something written? Woof, um, 
Bad beer week. Okay, well, I agree with you. Uh, somebody gave it four and a half. Why on earth would you give it four and a half stars, mate? You must be a newbie. 1.25. Needs more taste, no flavour. Yep, yep, I'd agree with that. Uh, another 1.25. A 1. Um, yeah, so basically 0.75. That one's getting more like it. Um, but, I mean, some people are giving it a fair score. Mainly it's the under 2 that they're scoring it. I reckon I'd give it a... a um, a one, two, or I might even agree with that other old mate who gave it a 0.75. I think that's what I'm going to give it. I mean, it's drinkable, and I'm sure it does the job, but... Oh, mate. If you like that ton, you'll probably like this. <laughs> you'll probably really enjoy it going, oh, mate, this is a top notch. But it's not a cheap beer anyway, either. It's, it's like, normally it's like 43 bucks for a 30 pack, so... Um, anyway, this looks like what I'm going to be drinking uh, for the next few weeks. Unless I can get some beer funds happening. That'd be awesome. Then I can sort of step it up and drown my sorrows away from the fact that I've got a whole heap of this. And I didn't take the receipt either. Why didn't I take the receipt? He offered it. Anyway. I'll, um, I'll, 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 I'll go around people's houses and bring beers, I think. Oh, mate, here. Yeah. Thought he'd come around. Here's some beers. Make me look good. And, uh, well, it'll do the job as well. So there you go. There's the bluey crisp pale ale, ultra crisp lager. It's not a pale ale. Why would I destroy the name of pale ale by inferring that this is even close to it? Uh, ultra crisp lager, brewed in Australia. Nothing to be proud of there. Uh, it's one of those drops that if you're a real tight ass and it's on special for 30 bucks, it's worth giving a go. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be paying full price for this. No, not in this lifetime anyway. <sighs> anyway. I better settle in for the night because I tell you what, I'll let you know what the hangover's like. How, how's that sound? <laughs> right, yeah, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time I upload. Until then, cheers.